Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and today I'd like to share with you how I make these reusable bowl covers. It won't matter the size of the bowl, we're going to be able to make these covers. These little covers have an elastic stitched around them, so they're easy to remove and easy to put back on. It won't matter the size, we're going to be able to make these. We're going to need a few things. One thing will be elastic. Now this is a quarter inch elastic and you can get it in black or white. And we're going to need some fabric. The fabric that I am using is splash fabric. It is 100% cotton, but it's laminated. It's biodegradable, it's eco-friendly, and it's food safe. You can always wash it by hand and reuse it many, many times. And it comes in a lot of fun different patterns. Now this is going to be a little different because we are not going to make a casing. We're going to stitch that elastic right on in one step. So let's start with the bowl that we need to cover. So I'm going to put this laminated fabric so that the cotton side is up and the laminated is down. You take that bowl and turn it upside down. I need to draw around the bowl, but I do need to leave a space. So I like to make these little cardboard spaces. It honestly is just a piece of cardboard that takes the shape of the bowl and I have a hole in it for my pen. If you need a small bowl, Make yourself a template that's about three quarters of an inch or even a half an inch. Same idea, this is just going to run along the side of the bowl and that hole is where the pen's going to be. If you have a little bowl and you're going to make a big border, there's too much fabric coming down. We will need a smaller amount for the smaller bowls. We're looking at about one finger of a distance all the way around. So the small bowls, we need a little lip, and for the medium and large bowls, we just need a larger lip. So I have a small one and a large one. I can put that on, make sure that I have enough room, and this is gonna run along that bowl. I know this is very fancy, but it works. Put the pen in the hole, and go all the way around. This is an inch and a half, and I find that is the most versatile measurement. Now I can cut it out on that line. The laminated fabric does not fray, so we do not have to do any turned edges. We can just cut it out right on that line. So when I look at that circle, going to have a nice lip all the way around. I will not be measuring my elastic. I'm going to let the elastic dictate the size of this circle. I definitely need enough to go around, but let's go to the machine and I'm going to show you how the elastic and that circle will do all of the work for us. I like to use a running stitch. So what it is, is this little curve, and you can change it to be wider, and you can make it longer, but I do want that width to be at least the width of that elastic, even a little bit smaller. So I want that width to stay within that elastic, and I don't mind it nice and long. So I'm going to have all of these little stitches running down in this little zigzag form. This is a great stitch to use when we are sewing on elastic. Your sewing machine might have a different name for this stitch, but whatever stitch it is, we just need it to go within that distance. I will also be using my 1D foot, which is called the reverse pattern foot. What I like with that is there is an opening in the front, and that opening will fit my elastic. I also have a large opening here 
for that pattern to stitch through. I'm going to be stitching the elastic on the right side of that fabric. So I'm going to take and anchor down this end and I'm going to start at about an inch. It's just easier to start with this little extra under the foot. So I'm just going to anchor that down. As I'm stitching, I'm going to be lifting this elastic through that little opening and stretching it. So I'm going to be pulling quite firmly on this elastic, which will be fighting against those feed dogs. So I'm going to have to use my hand and help guide that fabric around at the same time. So I'm kind of wanting this speed of my hand to go to the same pressure. So I'm going to put my hand right behind, lift up that elastic and start stitching. The elastic's going to go up and I'm going to be able to see where I'm stitching on. And the elastic will just follow that groove. Stitch for just a few inches, stop, and readjust. I'm always just going to give this a nice firm tug and help pull the fabric with my hand. You can always straighten out the back of that fabric a little bit if need be. Pull and stitch. When I come to this beginning piece, I'm going to trim it right off to that first row of stitching. And I'm going to stitch and bring that elastic right over top. Back stitch a little bit and I'm done. I can cut that elastic right off. So you can see where that elastic gathered that fabric right in. And it looks really nice from the right side. And there's the stop and the start. You didn't see it in the black, but this is what the stitch looks like. So the elastic decided how much it needed to go around those bowls. So I didn't have to do any measurement. I just stretched and stitched all the way around. And when we do that, we have that nice finish. They're quick, they're easy. Any size can be done. We just need to keep in mind that we'll need a inch and a half lip for the big bowls and maybe a half an inch for the smaller ones. The splash fabric is very, very easy to sew and it's washable so we get lots of years wear out of them. They're a lot of fun to make and they're really cute to look at in the fridge. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. I'm on Instagram, Facebook. I do have a newsletter. It's all free under So Very Easy. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.